high fish amino acid mean amino amylum this is what i'm gonna apply to the farm today so wanted to let you all know what is this fish amino acid i usually make it by myself but i need more i needed more quantity this time okay so because i needed more in quantity i ordered it from my friend uh, deepa sudhakaran she's from velour um, the owner of sd farms they follow natural farming as well and they make this the process of preparing this is dead easy okay but the time taken is more and that uh, my crops will not wait until that time right i see a few little bit of pale yellow ragi somewhere so that means that they are missing either water or some nutrients in them okay and this is going to do that magic once we apply this fish amino acid to the crops within a week's time you will see the change in the color of the crop it will be real dark green okay and the fish amino acid can be applied during the fruiting period of uh, any trees or plants anything okay during the just before the fruiting period when the flowers come when you you can use it uh, you can use it in the drip irrigation system or in the foliar spray as well so when we do that this can be applied in any form just it has to reach the plant and the soil okay that we need to make sure um, the flowering becomes more when flowers are more fruits are more right the product productivity is more that way fish amino acid is very very helpful now malware has suggested as this and he's given us a very good formula so equal and the formula is very simple even your children can make it all this needs is fish waste and jaggery natural chemical free jaggery okay so here's some fish amino acid let me show you how it looks because it's fish don't think that it's gonna stink uh, the, the process it undergoes right and the outcome nobody would even say that there was fish inside this the, the smell is completely different um, it's not a bad smell it doesn't stink okay and i think that is sufficient for you to use it right yeah that's how it looks like um, just you know when there's too much boost or bone vita in your milk the color looks like it's the same color okay so how do we make fish amino acid all you need i'm not going to show you the process here you go to youtube and just type it you'll find hundreds of videos on how it's made i'm just going to tell you a quick recap okay uh, of what others say <laughs> okay and an easy way of doing it all you need to do is go to the sunday market fish market and you'll get a lot of waste they are going to throw it to the waste but they never know that this is a resource right you can also sell them sell them on amazon also um all you need to do is how much ever amino acid you need right based on that you would collect the fish waste if it's for your gardening use you just take uh, one kg of fish fish waste okay and the fish waste would, would be such that there are no bones or shells on it okay make sure you take the uh, the fish intestine part of it they say caudal and tamil okay just that part will be why i say that part is because when we have bones in other other parts of the fish it is not so easy to get decomposed okay so this intestine part it gets decomposed easily in the process so that is the reason i say that okay so take one kg of that of the fish waste and one kg of jaggery so if you take 10 kgs of fish waste it will be 10 kgs of jaggery so the ratio is one is to one okay now take them and in a plastic container it can be a nice container where we have a airtight lid okay and we have a tight lid just take a container take the fish waste put it into it take the jaggery 1 kg jaggery 1 kg fish waste put it into it don't use your hands you might hurt if there are any bones use a stick don't use metal containers metal reacts plastic is dead plastic is dead okay and um, just because it's dead it lives everywhere so please understand the concept when making fertilizer and, and pesticides in natural farming do not use metal containers because they react okay take a wooden stick and you know just mix it up mix it mix it up really well so that it mixes okay and then close the lid close the lid the process happens in an anaerobic condition keep it in a shaded place okay never put it in the direct sun okay it should be in a shaded place it should be in a safe place you know it's fish so it may attract dogs and cats 
okay so make sure you you know make it really tight and put it in a safe place give a date over it say fish amino acid on this this particular date if it's on 31st of october today right write the date and this would take the process would take 21 days three weeks time okay so put in a date if it's 21st then it will be 20th of november if it's first november 21st of november okay so 21 days give it a date so until that day you're not supposed to open it okay you say the date of manufacture 31st october and then date of opening will be uh, 20th november 2023 okay when you do that over here the person who looks at that label will understand that do not open it should be opened only on that particular day okay that will be very helpful for the user and anybody who goes around that as well so keep it in a very safe place where it's not reachable by anyone the lid should not be opened for 21 days because the process happens in an anaerobic condition no air should enter that means the lid should be closed tight okay and um, yeah shade i said that yeah uh this one it'll be very helpful when you do mono cropping and your uh, crops would need more nutrients even then the fish amino acid will be very helpful and uh, after the process after the 21 day process when you open it and see you'll see this kind of a liquid formed and this kind of a liquid and the uh, this one to apply the ratio to apply to the land is for 10 liter of water there'll be 30 ml of fish amino acid that means 100 liter water 300 ml so 1000 liter water 3 liters 3000 ml that's 3 liter so if you see my tank over there i filled the tank just now with 1000 liters of water okay so 1000 liters of water i'll give 3 liters of fish amino acid okay I have more stock now because I, I I had some and then I asked some from Deepa as well. Uh, if anybody needs, you can contact Deepa. I've been in touch with her for a long time. A very educated and um, a very wise person. She's been doing wonders. Yeah. So what we, what I would do is I would mix this three liter. Of a fish amino acid into the thousand liter water drum and i would supply it the best practice is any uh, fertilizer when you apply it right natural fertilizer even though it's prepared add it into the water wait for 24 hours the all the beneficial bacteria would spread they would increase and then the next day when you pass it to the farm through water that beneficial bacteria gets multiplied so more the beneficial bacteria more goodness to the soil right yeah uh, and if you ask me whether soil eats fish or not yes soil loves fish and it eats fish and when you give it in the form of jaggery with fish they would love it they would love it trust me okay and uh, yeah one liter of fish amino acid it ranges a lot a few few sell for 100 few for 120 few for 150 i know people selling for 200 and 300 as well okay um so uh, this was for 120 one liter for 120 uh, so if you need i would pass in the contact um, in this video itself you can reach out to deepa uh, yeah i'm going it's getting late let me start the process of making you know fish amino acid solution thank you i hope this was helpful to you so i filled the tank with 1000 liters of water and i'm adding the amino acid right now that's now it's mixing up Whoa. no wastage and the best part with these natural fertilizers and pesticides is you don't have to tie a mask you can touch them with your bare hands if you see the normal farmers the regular chemical farmers right they will not touch the chemicals or the fertilizers or pesticides they will not touch it i can actually play with it i can play with this okay so that's the beauty of this and in fact the name that they've given chemical right can't be agreed they've just renamed the name it's actually called poison if you look at the you know 
the labeling right it would have been written poison over it and uh, instead they will be they call it chemical chemical is a yeah, decent name i guess enada panni vechirkeenga appadi da irukku ela yedo maadidiya hego aitu man what have you done hmm. see all mixed well done right superb smell i really cannot explain how this smells it's not bad it doesn't stink okay it smells good it's nice now i'm going to enjoy i know i have already showed how the venturi works right so i'm just going to do that part until then take care bye bye happy farming happy natural farming